All right, and we're back. It's been about five minutes since I took the camera off the stand. So let's get back to business. Aiming here. Okay, so I've already put the bearings into the girdle, as you see. I am going to set this down over here, carefully. And I'm just going to take my crank, like so. I'm going to grab in here, and I'm going to hold here this way. My hands are out of the way. Do this carefully, and do not scratch the crank journals at all. Scratch them, you have to remachine it. And it's a bitch, especially when you have to reharden a crank, which takes a while. Okay, here comes the really fun part. I'm going to take plastic gauge. I've already done this a different method too. It's pretty close, but we're going to do it with plastic gauge to double check. So make sure that you don't crush plastic gauge when you're transporting because then that's unusable. It's just a thin piece of like kind of like a plastic kind of. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, set it diagonally. Like so. Got an answer in this here. And I'm going to do a couple other ones, same thing, just and there's a little measuring section on the end of this. Ooh, there you are. This does not just take very much pressure to crush plastic gauge at all. So, and then you can kind of see the scale a little bit here if I hold it. 1,000s, 15, 10,000s, 2,000s, 3,000s. The flatter it gets, the more, the tighter the clearance, the thinner it is, the more the clearance is opened up. Two more because I want to check every journal because my calculation tells me this is really close and I don't want to be stupid. I don't want to be the dumb one on the track going, I should have done that instead. This is very it's delicate. I, I would say delicate, really. It's a delicate thing to do. 
I do it because I want to know for sure where I'm at. And a lot of professionals do it too. Where was that one? No, I just lost one. Not a big deal. Let's cut another piece. You're empty too. How about you? Well, that is a SOB. And this is why I brought my light. See how the other ones pan out. Mm -hmm. I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable. If I don't, I don't. Gently and carefully, again, place your girdle back on. Actually, you know I'm not going to do these uh, eight mils. All you really need to do is the uh, tens. Oh, come on, you came out earlier. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. All right, you asked for it. Got it. So, manufacturers says they want 50 foot pounds and a quarter turn. That's what Chrysler says. So if you're ARP studs, you want to go with what ARP says for torque. So mine's 85, I believe. 80 or 85, I have to double check the paper. I'm going to torque it to 20 and then 40 and then I'm going to take it off. So, I'm just going to do this faster, I'm just going to kind of slug them up.
Battles and Bugs with a chance to be Metallica's Digi Face and brought to you by Avalanche, Harry Higgins, and EDI. Chrome Rule presents Becoming a King. Hi, I'm a Hall of Fame athlete. I've always loved basketball, but I think nobody's loved me back. When I first started, I could rebound and run. But shooting and passing with accuracy were a mystery, but the memory did. And I got a little taller, too. In the end, I created a whole other game above the rim. I'm Dr. J, and here's to a career of greatness. Crown Royal, rain on. Crown Royal, when you can get a whiskey 40% alcohol by volume. By the way, 2013, the Crown Royal Cup, New York, Connecticut. Please drink responsibly. Only oh, green supply is the ace hockey with your specs who nobody else has. Only green supply is the ace hockey with your specs who nobody else has. So I'm going to take the extension and my half inch 12 point, my torque wrench. Quick, a quick style or digital. I don't like those pull type ones that has a digital indicator on it. Those are very inaccurate. So let's see. Neon, Ming stud. Yep, Ming stud. This is the one I want. The instructions say torque to 80 foot pounds in three increments. So I'm going to set this to probably about 35, 40, and then I'm going to take my measurement. So, quick, quick. Quick, 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 I'm going to crisscross pattern, kind of instead of a circle, because it works the best for me. I'm going to go back and check each one. And again, do not rotate the crank, otherwise you mess up your reading. And trust me, you don't want to do this. It's a messy mess. And then I'm just going to work from my outside in. And I'm going to put this in the crack. The way I'm doing it is just so that bad play doesn't work itself. You also notice I didn't put any sealant on yet because I'm not going to do sealant on a clearance check. You'll wait to do that on this coming round. You remove all the bearings and all your fasteners and with the RP fastener move. Sure. Make sure some of these things come on down, which this one did, which is all right. I'm just gonna snug them up again.
Some it's going to be on the other. So all you're going to do is you're just going to line this up, kind of. Looks like we have about. About. Oh, between fifteen hundred and two thousands. So I, I call this good. About 15, 10,000, so I call this good. This is okay. We're safe. Manufacturer wants between 8 10 thousandths and about 12 10 thousandths, but we're running a higher, higher RPMs, a lot more fuel, so we're going to run hotter, so I want clearance bigger. A little bit bigger, but not much. So well, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little break clean. There's my soda. We're just going to clean off the plastic gauge. Not very hard, just a little scrubbing action back and forth. It's all right. You know. Basically, you're just going to rub it until it's gone. Then you don't see it on the crank barrel anymore. You're going to do the same thing with your bearings. Um, there wasn't one on that one. So I'm just going to come over here, kind of. So I'm just going to clean the bearings off, you know, kind of give them a little wipe if they're clean. So I know they're clean. And then I'm going to take the crank out and do the same with the crank. And once again, do not scratch these germs. When you set a crank down, always send it on the flywheel side, standing up. Don't bump it. You will be sad and sorry. Or probably mad. That's more like it. So I'm just going to... Clean these bearings up. Clean away any dirt so it's not in there. Kind of make sure it's all good. Where are you? It's just some defect. Yeah, it's some defect. It's alright. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to clean the crank journals. The reason why I'm cleaning this is because this was cut like 2,000 small off in micro polish. So I still got some loops that they used on here. 